Hello everybody and welcome back to another Orc video guys. Sorry for death with you there, I was very very close to the camera when I said that. Um, but anyway guys, hello and welcome. Uh, so guys, uh, what are we going to be looking at today? Well, in my last video I did say that we might be looking at a Morknaut. And as you guys have guessed by the rather zoomed back shot, that is what we are looking at today. So, without further ado, something stompy this way comes. That's right guys, so here's my Morknaut. I don't quite know whilst why I'm um, kind of holding it on the base. Uh, it's actually um, not attached, but I just thought I'd bring it in just to show you the size and the scale of this monstrosity, guys. So, this was a Christmas present from my dear old parents. A uh, really, really nice model to do. I've got to say, it was really fun to build. It has loads of worky bits and quite a few nice little extras, some of the extras of which I used on the looters that you saw in the previous video. If you've not seen the previous video, guys, go back and check it out right now. Um, but anyway guys, so yeah, um, I've not done anything to this in regards to conversions, I just took it as a very very nice painting project to actually do. So guys, uh, first and foremost, um, how was the actual model to construct? Uh, fairly easy, I've got to admit the instructions are very very simple to actually um, follow. Uh, there was no real tricky bits uh, and one of the nice things is that the arms and stuff, uh, they're basically pegged in automatically as you guys can see see here. They, they, they just, uh, there's a hole drilled in there because that's how I was holding it on a piece of cork whilst I painted it. Um, but the, the, they come with these little pegs, uh, kind of like the uh, Imperial Knight ones, so you can just slot them in, slot them out, and it's great for storing them. Um, these arms, I've made it so that they all do move in the correct uh, jointy parts. This one is stuck with paint unfortunately, um, but as you can see See here guys, I've gone for my standard rusty effect with lots of blue detailing. I even drilled the barrels out the shooters there guys, how do you like them apples? Um, but yeah, this is the Morkonaut rather than the Gorkonaut. And uh, you can't actually see it because it's a little bit too um, tall. It's a little bit too um, not in focus, but I can actually move it up there. And you can see not only the top of my lamp, which I'm using to light this bastard, but you can see the custom force wheel generator here, and that's what I'm using it for. Because I'm maximizing the massive, massive base that the Morkanor has, because the custom force field generates and radiates from the base, not the actual model. So this is going to give my orcs some much provided cover. Um, if you can bear me on a second, guys, my camera is flashing that I'm nearly out of recording time. So I'll have to go delete some stuff and then jump cut back in. Sorry guys. Okay, and jump cut over. Uh, sorry about that guys, yes, I was running out of um, space on my uh, video camera. Um, anyway, so, uh, weapons load out that the Morkonaut has. Uh, it's got two twin link big shooters. It has rockets, which I've not actually put on there. I've forgotten to use them for something else. But anyway, I'll just say that it fires some other kind of pulse laser beam. Anyway, whatever. It's got a, if you can see it on the side there, it's got a custom mega blaster. It has a custom mega cannon, which is this awesome piece of kit right here. And this arm does move, and this arm does detach. Um, and it also has, I think it has something in the eye as well, like some kind of ray gun in the eye, but I'm not entirely sure. But it's a very stompy, very awesome, awesome piece of kit. Now what I'm intending to do is, if I just open up his belly right here, as you can see I've painted the interior. Now what I intend to do, but I intend to have a mech in this with mech tools fixing it constantly so I've always got a custom force field going on the go. Um, but yeah, so you can actually put guys in there. You can carry I think six models, so you can carry a couple of mega knobs in there. Don't see how because it's very fucking cramped, um, but you, can, you can't really see that because it's um, it's maybe a bit too dark in there, but I painted all the way to the actual back of it as well, which is pretty good. Um, I've just realised as well that I've got a couple of little bits. I need to add the glossiness to these red sensors here and here. Uh, I've not done that with my Tamiya Clear Red yet. But anyway, guys, you get the idea of what it's like. Um, well, yeah, guys, it was just a really super fun miniature to paint. There were parts of it where I thought, oh my god, this is taking forever, but that was just because I hadn't assembled it all yet. Um, what I would do when painting one of these guys is I would not glue the arms, the legs, or the doors, or this front plate here on the head, uh, mainly because you're going to want to get back there and get behind it and get to all those little nooks and crannies. So take them all off, paint them all separately, glue them all, or place them all back together after you've painted them all. It will make your life a lot, lot better easier. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to give this guy a little bit of a rotate so you can see what what I've done. Uh, I've got to admit, the lighting of setup I've got here really washes out a lot of the colours. It's it's a lot darker and it's a lot more blue in real life. Uh, but anyway, you guys get the impression of it here. Uh, one of the things that I was a bit mm, about is because how much it's kind of leaning back. You know, there's no real options. I mean, these toe parts do move, but there's no real options to kind of 
I suppose I could like do that and have it like up on one leg about to like run into something but it just doesn't sit very well if you get what I mean. Uh, but yeah moving along uh, I'll just like pan it around slowly. Uh, but yeah really really fun model to do guys. Uh, not much I can say about it really other than it's going to be really stompy and really cool. Uh, but anyway guys thank you very much. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button. Fucking Punch the shit out of that like button. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe if it's the first time you're watching. Also, don't forget to share this video because it helps the channel expand and grow. And don't forget to check out the Facebook group in the doobly-doo down below. So anyway, guys, I bid the adieu. Thank you very much for watching. See you now, and goodbye.